Chuck, look down. Oh, down. Look down. Like Chuck, oh. listen. Hey, bro. What are you doing here? You shouldn't be down there. Look, Chuck, okay, you gotta let me up there so I can talk to her. No, can't do it, bro, Hand. Okay, then, then can you somehow get her a message? Oh, totally, dude. Hold on. Chuck? Hey, uh, listen, you have a passenger on that flight. A Margaret Tate. I need you to give her a message. Mm-hmm. Give a message? Then give her a message. Yes! Okay, hold on. Excuse me, Miss Tate. I just received a message for you from the tower at Sitka. Uh, what's this about? It's from Andrew Paxton. He says that you were a foxy lady, and he loves your sweet little boobies. So he said what? Oh, I handled it. Let me tell you something. Don't you call here no more telling me to tell her nothing and use that kind of garbage. To oh, because if you do that again, the next time I'm on your island, I'm going to kick your ass. Oh, hey. Hold on a second. Don't you? What? Hello? Hold on. You still there? What just happened? I just paid her a compliment. OK, whatever you said was kind of lame. Tell her what I said. OK, what was it again? I forgot what you said. Chuck, write it down. You tell her that three days ago, all I wanted in life was to be a book editor in New York City. And now, all I want is to be with you. OK. Man. OK, I'm sorry about our fight. I'm sorry, too, I guess. But get on with it. What is it? OK, this is the one you have to get to Margaret, because Andrew's got it bad for her. Three days ago, all I wanted to do was be a book editor. That was pretty. I'm gonna need you to speak up, because I can't hear you. I said, I said, all I wanted to do was be a book editor. OK, what's the last part? Uh, all he wants to do is be with you. I can't I hear you. you. Chuck. Chuck. Son of a bitch. Hello? Hello? Chuck. He says that three days ago, all he wanted was a lice predator that's pretty. And now all he wants is your shampoo. What does that mean? Chuck, what does that mean? Hello? 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 Miss Tate, can I call you Margaret? OK, this man may be chemically imbalanced. But what you have to recognize is that he is trying to tell you something. All right, now, I got a suspicion. If you don't get on that radio and find out what he meant to say, girlfriend, you gonna worry about that thing for the rest of your life. It's time for you to, to stand up and, and break free for me and every other woman on this plane who have never had a man try and talk to them the way this man on the radio is trying to talk to you, whatever the hell he's saying. Come with me and see if he might be saying something you want to hear. Come on. Uh, no, 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 no. We had a deal. You can't go back to him. Not going back. Simply going to use the other. Yes, and to you need to release her arm right now. Thank I will you. do no such thing. I am a federal officer. This is your final warning. Why don't you go fetch me another cocktail? And... I've got something. OK, well, I can't wait for that. You sit let... down. I am not your job. You cannot Move. tell me to sit. sit. Get over here. What are you... How about that? Oh, 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 oh. needs to be taken off this plane as soon as possible. And thankfully, for my romantic heart, the nearest airport is Sitka. No. So why don't I have the captain turn this bird around? Are y'all with me? Yeah. 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 Get it together, girl. Yeah. Fix your hair. This is flight 1601. Clearance to return to Sitka. Oh, hell yeah, you can, dude. Hell yeah, you can land. Come in at Whiskey 3-4. She's coming. She's coming.
While you clearly have all the time in the world for unnecessary little chats such as this one, I don't. See, I have to go to New York, I have to wrap up my entire life, and I have to go home, to Canada. And who do you think you are talking to me like you're some superfly pimp telling me I got tiny titties in front of an entire plane full of Margaret. people? You American men have such a skewed view. Stop talking! Now. We had a deal back there and you blew it. No, I made sure. Well, I'm gonna speak here and you're gonna listen. Like it or not, things have changed between us. Things changed when we kissed. Things changed when you talked about your tattoo. They changed when you, you checked me out naked. Oh, I didn't look yeah. at you. See? Yeah, you did. Now, I completely understand why you act like nothing happened, because you're afraid to admit that you need me if you don't think I feel the same way. So let me be perfectly clear about something. I'm more than clear with you. Sounds like when you're not talking. What does that mean?